very similar here. We pointed out that Garcia coming up, uh, lifting yet the natural. All right, gentlemen, we're on the rules early in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands. Text off all times. Understood? Yes, sir. Good luck. Bueno suerte. You got you. Lawrence Cole calls for the bell. The champion, Sergey Lipinets, in the red and gold. Mikey Garcia, a champion at 135, but a champion. Part of the reason why it's not a huge issue to go up in weight and fight at 140, and as we've pointed out, he wants to even be at 140. Keep falling into them, he'll get you. He sees in Lipinets is his size. He is the naturally bigger man. So, Slatichin in victory and knockout of the year candidate Al. He is he's a formidable counter puncher. Mikey's starting to make to be careful there because again he's bending over to his own right when he gets low. It's good to be low, but he want to go straight down and not bend over to the right because. And they both threw at the same time. Garcia getting the better of that left hand. And from the Lipinets jab, Lipinets lands some good straight shots. One of the guys in the ring has three kids, right? <laughs> exactly. You're dangerously close to being correct. Oh, excuse me, Marl. There's the uppercut from oh. Lipinets. Wow. Lipinets catches Garcia with a left hook. And now Garcia pouring on the pressure, going to the body with the left hook. And hey, Mikey, they like Ooh. you here in San Antonio. And again, unloading with that one, two. And Lipinets. He slips the left the left hand of Garcia and then lands his own counter left hook. We'd seen that a couple of times early. The bell in round four. During his short career as a professional boxer, Lipinets has uh, shown a... want to do because they throw hits so hard they want to set their offense. Connects for Lipinets, right cross. For... And another right hand for Garcia lands, but Lipinets... He feels that people under underestimate Garcia's ability to think in the ring. Buddy McGirt imploring Sergey Lipinets to keep that left hand up as we begin. He's, you know, making at least you feel like he's dangerous. Triple left hook by Garcia. And I like the fainting by Lipinets. Yeah, he's punching off the feints too. Yeah. Lipinets digging to the body, lands a left hand upstairs. Looking to rally Mikey Garcia, left hand as Lipinets lean forward. See his brother and trainer Robert wanting him to avoid the corners. Garcia comes out with a double jab through the... Uh, uh, Kondo was a little tougher than some had thought. There was a clash of heads in the middle of the fight that made it difficult. But somehow it was a step back for Lipinets. There was no space for Mikey to throw the right Half hand. Half a minute left and Garcia... The jab, he, he establishes the distance oh, from the land land. that right hand. Good stop through six. Texas, we're at the halfway point of this IBF Junior Welterweight title fight. Scheduled for 12 rounds, the champion Lipinets. Yeah. Counter left hook oh, upstairs my. and a right hand by wow. Lipinets. And a fierce exchange in the center of the ring. Good exchange. Ca counter oh, oh, and the counter left drops Lipinets. rhythm. What does that mean, Pauly? Oh, break rhythm is, you know, you obviously try to punch with him, faint. Oh. You use that head movement and faint. And Lipinets has done a great job of fainting and using the jab to his advantage. That's a rhythm breaker. Well, right now, Garcia and 10 on breaking. That Mikey Garcia's power translates to one four. Now trying to inch forward, Ooh. get into range, and landing some hard shots to the body. And he's too squared and gets hit. 30 seconds left in the eighth. Good combination. Right hand lands for Garcia. Nice exchange on the end. That helps him get on the inside where he throws that nice left hook. That was a beautiful left hook. Working the uppercut again. He's got to be very careful with that punch. That's how he got countered and knocked. Is round number nine. Scheduled for 12 for Sergey Lipinets. 140 pound title. And it keeps Mikey thinking. Oh, right oh. hand, left hook. Wow. Lands for Lipinets. Backs Garcia to the ropes. But Garcia does not panic and comes back with an attack. Garcia to the ropes. Lands oh. a body shot. And, and Lipinets oh, still trying right to hand. Shoot. Right uppercut. Lipinets doing it. Good one, two lands for Garcia. Lipinets lands a jab in the right hand, goes downstairs to the body. We are in round number 10. Freeman Coliseum, San Antonio, Texas. Quick start by Lipinets coming forward. Rounds in that despite his level of experience, he can he can hang with the top 100 meat round. Sorry, Mark. Again, heavy right hand for Garcia. Oh. I love how Lipinets sticks to the plan. He wants to punch on Mike. I'm obviously in speed, but positioning is the large part of counter punching. And Mike, uh, Mikey is another guy this week who's shown great example. Good. Janat 
Zakianov, Oleg Moskaya to win a title in his fourth weight class tonight. Oh, nice uppercut from Lipinets. He's been trying, of course. Mentally excellent. Yeah, that goes without saying. I like the adjustment Lipinets has made on the right hand. He's starting to keep his left hand up more. And he got rolling a little bit and scores for Garcia. Jab lands for Lipinets. Final three minutes of what has been an entertaining 140 pound title fight. Coming up, Health and final round for the 140 pound belt currently around the waist of Sergey Lipinets. But Mikey Garcia's fight, we'll see. Garcia's never scored a knockout in the 12th round. Lipinets putting the point. Garcia, the left eye of Sergey Lipinets. is slow and they both exchange hooks. You can see, though, Garcia wants to try to get him hurt or any world title matchup. Blood streaming from the left side of the nose of Mikey. Of becoming a four division world champion. Lipinets looking to start his own legacy. And the end of the fight. What a battle. Champion of the world, Mikey.